Hello, my name is Taya and I'm here to teach you a little bit about art history. Today we're going to be discussing René Magritte's The Treachery of Images. René Magritte was a Belgian surrealist artist known for his witty and thought-provoking images. His works would not only depict ordinary objects in unusual contexts, but they would challenge his viewers' preconditioned ideas of reality. He was largely inspired by art movements such as conceptual art, pop art and minimalist art. The Surrealist painter created some of the most recognisable artworks of the 20th century through his use of appropriated motifs, creating timeless works that still look fresh today. Masterpieces by René Magritte include The False Mirror, The Listening Room, The Mysteries of Horizon, The Son of Man, Empire of Light, The Lovers 2, Not to be Reproduced, and Man in a Bowler Hat. Surrealism was an art movement that developed from the aftermath of World War I, depicting unnerving, illogical scenes and techniques that expressed the unconscious mind. The Treachery of Images is a deceptively simple work. At first glance, you see a realistic painting of a traditional pipe on a yellow cream background. Below it is some French text that I won't try to pronounce as I don't know how to speak French, but it means this is not a pipe. This is often startling for people to learn and many will say, but it is a pipe. But in my opinion, that's what Magritte wants you to say. He wanted viewers to see the pipe, read that it's not a pipe and be confused. Because when you really think about it, it's not a pipe at all. It's a humorous depiction of a pipe, but it's not a pipe. Magritte was quoted stating, the famous pipe, how people reproached me for it. And yet, could you stuff my pipe? No, it's just a representation, is it not? So if I had written on my picture, this is a pipe, I'd have been lying. And he's right. It's not a pipe, it's an image of a pipe. And that's exactly the point. As I said, Magritte intended for his audience to be confused and to question his logic. The work shows that our initial reactions can oftentimes be false or ill-informed. Because once you think further or read more information, such as the quote by the artist, you realise he is correct. The work belongs to a series of word image paintings that Magritte made in the 1920s. This work, alongside his others in the series, highlight the gap between language and meaning. Magritte forces us to question the importance of sentences and words. He's telling us that the word pipe is no more a pipe than his depiction. You can't use it to smoke. It's just a word. It has been suggested he was inspired by the styles of both children's books and his early career in advertising. He likely borrowed the pipe motif from Le Corbusier's book Vers en Architecture, 1923, due to his admiration of the architect and painter. Magritte, alongside other poets and artists associated with the Surrealist movement, sought to overthrow the oppressive rationalism of bourgeois society. His art was violent at times, disturbing, and he consistently interrogated conventions of language and images. Now, the treachery of images has become one of the most iconic images in the Surrealist movement. So, the treachery of images is a simple work, and it's one of my favourites. I adore its humour, and I'm far from the only one. Alongside the treachery of images, Magritte's work have come to be admired by and an inspiration to generations of artists since his death. I hope you've enjoyed this video about the work and its meaning. If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos just like this. Thanks for watching.